Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. Here's what you need to know about the war in Iraq. A very grave situation developing in the Middle East. Many of you seeing the horror-filled images released by the BS mainstream media over the weekend with the terrorist organization ISIS assassinating Iraqi soldiers and innocent civilians. If you're to believe the BS mainstream media, that is CNN, MSNBC, and Bloomberg News. About 11 years ago, George W. Bush at the time invaded an independent sovereign nation named Iraq in response to the September 11, 2001 terror attacks, an event and an attack that had nothing to do with Iraq at all. In fact, the terrorists, according to the U.S. federal government, was made up mostly of Saudi Arabians, but decided on the behalf of the American people to invade Iraq instead, more than likely with their eye on the prize of that black gold dirty money that makes up oil. Now, of course, we've been involved in this war for over a decade now, with almost 5,000 U.S. soldiers dying in cities like Fallujah, which have now been toppled by the terrorist group ISIS overnight, moving from city to city to city with their eye on the ultimate goal of Baghdad and transforming this part of the world into a much more dangerous place. This spilling over from Syria and joining the two nations into a giant smorgasbord caliphate of terror that could potentially strike us here at home. Something that every American should be very fearful of. Again, if you're to believe the BS mainstream media and your federal government. A few short-lived three years ago, Obama, a Democrat, again, there's no difference between Republican and Democrat, allegedly withdrew troops from Iraq. And now the situation has only grown more violent. Now, of course, this is something that the Obama administration likes to pat themselves on the back with, saying that it's Obama's greatest achievement, even though the problem has grown worse now in recent years and in recent days. In fact, I think the Republicans have a very good argument that the failure of the Obama administration to contain the crisis in Syria has only helped to make a situation much, much worse, and the Middle East really much more dangerous and violent. And this has a number of repercussions for Americans and citizens of the world. And they're not just economic. Of course, we're watching oil prices potentially could go sky high, just like what we saw pre the financial crash that made up 2008 in the greatest calamity since the Great Depression, which resulted in trillions of dollars of taxpayer-infused bailouts to save the too-big-to-fail monolithic companies that make up Bank of America, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo today. But outside of all that, not only does it create more instability in the Middle East, but it weakens America abroad and also here at home demoralizing the countless, the thousands of U.S. soldiers that not only died, but that also came back injured physically and psychologically from the conflict in the first place, almost the equivalent of their Vietnam or their Vietnam. Uh, you know, some estimates ranging in the hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians dying in the larger conflicts that have made up Iraq and Afghanistan over the past decade or so. Again, demoralizing Americans here at home, U.S. soldiers and veterans wondering why they took such great risks and why their brothers and sisters died, stepping on IEDs in a conflict that really didn't matter at all. Now with ISIS, a terror group so violent that even Al-Qaeda has disavowed itself with the organization. Uh, this is just absolutely crazy to think about. You know, not only does it weaken our position overseas and weaken us in the eyes of the international community, but it also weakens us here at home and increases our chances of another terror attack on U.S. soil. You know, this really puts America at risk. It puts us in a grave situation. The fact that we've been materially engaging in these conflicts in the first place and then failing to realize any of the goals that supposedly our president, whether it's a Republican or a Democrat, set out to achieve. And I think that that is the broader point, that this has been the intention all along. It's been a mass destabilization effort, and that has been the goal. It's never been a 
about Operation Iraqi Freedom or setting up a democracy or creating freedom for the Iraqi people. It's really only been about making this world and making the situation in the Middle East much, much worse, which is exactly where we are today. With Baghdad in the process now, as you're watching this video, of being toppled by ISIS and really ruining the hopes of what our purpose or stated agenda was at the time uh, to be engaged in this part of the world in the first place. And again, it's a very dangerous situation, not just for the international community, but for Americans in general. And it proves just how gross uh, the situation actually is and just how inept uh, our leadership has been in recent years. You know, it makes you wonder what's going to happen next. Uh, of course, we're worried about the economy. We're worried about the quote unquote recovery. But I'm actually personally more worried about a future event, a future conflict, a much worse situation in the Middle East, which I think is global in nature and is really threatening the very survivability of not just the United States, but the international community at large. I'm Christopher Green. Get this out everywhere. Make it viral, hard hitting it in your face. And I want to hear from you. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen next? Who do you think's at fault? And what do we do now? Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Peace.